My name is Jay Toole, and I was at Stonewall the night of the uprising. What was it like to be a butch lesbian in the 60s? Is uh, It was just a hard time, you know? They, they were relentless, you know? There was always one cop that would grab us, the butchers, and uh, beat us up, put us in the cop car, arrest us, you know, for sexual deviancy is not having the three articles of female clothing on. That's not on the law books. You know, they would tell us that's why they were arresting us, but it's not, it's not a real charge. Life was, was really hard. I was homeless, you know. I was, I was homeless from the age of 13 up into my 50s. It was, you know, doing anything you can to survive on the streets back here. Christopher Street was always welcoming. It was always a safe place, and Stonewall, was a, like a, a haven. It was a place that we could go to, be with our own people, hang out, dance, listen to music. Cops always raided the bars. And when the cops would come in, you know, you would hope that you weren't the one that they were going to arrest. So the night of Stonewall, my little family was sleeping in Washington Square Park, and news filtered throughout the village very fast and we all made our way up. The riots were going on already. People were screaming, people were throwing things, and uh, the cops were pushing people down towards Greenwich Avenue. You know, it was lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, gender non-conforming, two-spirit, non-binary, asexual, queer, question. It was straight people. It was everybody that was in these communities. So I don't think it was just because people were arrested, you know, that night because we were arrested all the time. It was because there was so many different communities, you know, that came together. Every shade of us, every sexuality, we were all out there, one whole community, to say, stop it. You know, you gotta stop arresting us. You gotta stop harassing us. You gotta stop beating us up. You gotta stop putting us in jails. And that was amazing. So today my life is a, a lot different. Sage has actually been a a lifesaver for me. When I became homeless again, I got a hold of them and they gave me a case manager and she helped me get doctors because I was sick. They helped me uh, look for housing and she calls me, you know, to check up on me, make sure I'm all right. Walking in those doors and not having to worry about, you know, somebody putting me down was a completely different experience for me. I could be myself. It was just a safe environment. That night of Stonewall showed that we can come together. I feel like to move forward, we have to lift up everybody. It's a community as a whole. 